back now with an update on the strike that many of us have been watching closely. For nearly three weeks now, SAG-AFTRA, the union that represents over 160,000 actors, has been on the picket line after failing to negotiate a new contract with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. Well, we do want to note Comcast, the corporation that owns our parent company, NBC Universal, is one of the entertainment companies represented by the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. Here with the very latest on where things stand, actor, writer, and especially for the purposes of this conversation, president of SAG after Fran Drescher. Welcome back. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Thank for coming for back. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. By our count, today marks the 19th full day of the SAG after strike. For folks who don't know precisely how we got here, bring us up to speed. How did we get here? And how would you characterize how the talks are going so far? Well, we got here because we couldn't make a deal with the AMPTP on behalf of the workers of our union, 86% of them who can't make their health insurance. So really, the majority of our members are working people, just trying to put food on the table and pay their rent. And we couldn't make a deal on their behalf. Has there been any movement at all? Not since the strike. I don't know whether they're punishing us or what. We gave them an unprecedented 12-day extension to try and come to a meeting of the minds to avert a strike, but nothing really came out of that, and we had no point. Is no. there, everybody keeps asking me, you know, Chanel, can you, be, can you put it plainly, like, what is the hot-button issue? Like, what does it come down to? Well, we need fair wages and protections against artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. We need the working person to be respected and honored for their massive contribution and we need what is considered in our industry minimum wage for the majority of our workers to reflect uh, the um, inflation what they're offering us in real money is less than 2020 and we're supposed to accept that through 2026 it's outrageous mm -hmm. and the business model changed and they're unwilling to change the contract business model meaning streaming streaming and AI or yes mm -hmm. that's huge and we're still trying to uh, fix a contract that was forged in 1960 oh, wow. yeah. mm -hmm. so are the parties not even speaking right now or are there no talks we happening? had from the minute we said we're we were on strike now after the extension ran out we said we are happy to continue negotiating mm -hmm. let's keep talking and, um, you know, they've said no. So, so who the blinks first? Sorry, go ahead. No, well, it's just in the last few days, you've had this interim agreement, which uh, you've gotten some criticism for it because it allows independent films to uh, continue production as long as they are bound by whatever ends up being the deal. So why is the interim agreement so important, and why is there all this kind of negativity toward it? Well, uh, people don't understand, but we're trying to make our communications and messaging uh, better in that regard. This is a very smart and strategic move on behalf of SAG-AFTRA and uh, independent productions that are fully vetted and have nothing to do with AMPTP members uh, can apply for an interim agreement if they agree to everything that was on the table at the point that we went on strike, mm. which means that our journeyman performers and crew will be able to have opportunities to work, to pay their bills, and they will actually be making more money than they've ever made before because that's where we were at in the negotiation. Mm -hmm. And as long as those people have more opportunities to work, then we can hold firm on our resolve with the AMPTP, who will be left out in the cold mm -hmm. if they don't come back to the table. So realistically, do you see this continuing on for another couple weeks, another couple months? I mean, how long will this go on? Well, I don't have a crystal ball. Mm -hmm. We have financially prepared ourselves for the next six months, mm. and uh, we're really in it to win it. That's why we have to support the interim agreements, because that allows the journeyman actor, performer, and crew to continue to work through this. And that's very important, because mm -hmm. they're honoring yeah. our, uh, you know, proposals, and that proves that they're not unrealistic, they're reasonable, and they're fair. Fran, is it true that, the, I read this, that the average SAG-AFTRA uh, member makes $27,000 a year? 
You know, the 86% of them can't even meet the threshold, which is just below 27000 a year, for their health insurance. So what are we talking about here? These are hardworking people. They want the same things for their children that all of those CEOs that are, ha that are making large fortunes want for their children. We should point out that uh, we have reached out to the Alliance for Motion Picture and Television Producers for comment. Uh, they responded saying, quote, we remain committed to finding a path to mutually beneficial deals for both unions. <laughs> I was wondering how you were going to respond Friend, to that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Keep us posted, you. please. Thank Keep you. us posted. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.